We're building a machine shed for our off-grid homestead, aka a home for our tractor Clem. This build has been a long time coming. Actually, hundreds of you have told us to do this. Having a dedicated space for tools, projects, materials, and machines is going to be a game changer. We're starting with the most important part, the foundation. Getting the foundation right is key for the whole build. We started by choosing the best location for the job, excavating the area, and while we did, we found these huge boulders. Laid four to six inch rock, which will help with the runoff, and now it's time to bring the site to life. Let's get this workshop off the ground, literally. Hello. Morning. 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 Got your winter hat on. Cold. <laughs> Cold. 10 degrees. You've got double layers. <laughs> Cold. Oh, first thing I think we should do is get the four corners. So we okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah, I have that. With our handy dandy measuring tape, we're squaring up the pad to find the exact location to run future water and electrical lines underground. It's gonna be bigger than our house. <laughs> yeah, it is. This is just rock, right? Yeah. 50? Yeah. 50's here. There you go. What should this be? 70.71. Yeah, 68. So we're a little we're close. This can come back. Want to put it right at 70? It should be 70.6 or something like that. That's what it is, yeah. That's it. Is it? Yeah. 70.6. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So you want to see the pipe sticking up about this part. Okay. So we'll put a, put a cap on to it. Okay. Do you want to go outside? Right around under the sunlight I'm seeing you smile There you brought the goods Let's go outside Let's go outside Nice, we got quite the supervisor there Is this boring work, Izzy? Are you falling asleep? Go get Glam Glam! <laughs> Center drain? Yeah. Holy, do you guys know, know how to be quiet on set? Uh, All they do is hello. talk. I've been trying to keep them in line the whole day. The center drain is now perfect. What we're gonna do is we're gonna dig down a bit as it needs to go a little bit deeper. We're gonna take this nice class A so it has a comfy mattress to sit on. And then we're gonna put it back in. <laughs> what a joy working with this, these two. We're gonna put it back in exactly where we want it. And then fill over top. This center drain will help if we're washing cars or anything like that. That way it'll be all sloped to the center and the water can run away. Not everyone knows this. If we didn't put the drain in now, we'd have to chisel cement, which is just like want to waste of money, waste of time and not really the smartest move. So that's why we're putting this drain in there first because one day if it will we have- a drain, it's here. The priority is keep Clementine safe from the harsh Canadian cold winters. the effects of the sun. Yeah, her tires are starting to get really like hairy legs. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna keep doing this. <laughs> oh my. Countdown is on and we're gonna do it. Do you believe in us, Porter? I don't know if you're gonna have enough time. <laughs> <laughs> All for dear Clementine. <laughs> do you wanna go outside? Larry's on a hauling mission today. 
Look at our piles everywhere. Porter, we gotta work a little faster. Yeah. What are we doing here? Waiting for Crystal. <laughs> Crystal! What up? We're waiting for you. Ready. So now class A is gonna go over that pipe and then we can put the big rock back over. Well, it's not big rock, it's like the in-between rock. It looks so weird. Push, push, push. The bottom, Chris, the bottom. There you go. There you go. Oh, it wasn't straight. Oh, I should no. be in front of it. Oh. It looks so weird. I like the big one. I hate the big brush. Why? It gets done faster. I don't know. Drain? Electrical. Down the road, when we want to bring electricity into this building, say we want a little light or a little outlet, we can use this for later days. We're like the DOT. One person working while the other ones are standing around leaning on their shovel watching. <laughs> Gem. Wife of the year. Because I got you coffee? Wife that of is, the year. That is easy. What's in his hand? That is the transit because we need to get this pad nice and graded so we the back right corner here is the highest point on the pad so we're gonna get the rest of the pad up to level with that and then it's a slight slope so that water can run off so it turns out from the back of the pad in the back right corner where it's the highest to the front left corner diagonally across we need to raise the entire pad up 18 inches so Quite a bit of material but once we get that all smoothed out it's gonna look so good and then we'll raise up this road behind me that comes right in contact with the pad so that way this whole area is nice and level and properly sloped and there'll be no water problems over here Woohoo! jasmine and porter are going to tag team this especially because larry's brought so much material they can both be spreading at the same time and this is going to get done a lot quicker this needs to get done before the winter. Like we said earlier, we are in time crunch mode now. We're running out of time. The cold weather is well on its way. And as you all know, we're building a house in Mexico this winter. <laughs> the paperwork is signed. Ah! <laughs> it's official. So crazy this like came to fruit and is actually happening right now, you know? I know. Like I'm sitting yeah. here looking at our land so there's a lot going on at the moment but i have to say watching these two go at it right now is looking very promising also i don't know what the heck happens to time as you get older but where does it go i can't even believe that we're into the last part of the year now it's basically winter i feel like we just got out of winter i don't know where the summer went i'm sure all of you can relate to that Yes, it's gourmet dog food. <laughs> we love Sundays in this household and we love real food. So thank you to Sundays for sponsoring this week's video and for making human grade, high quality pet food. And of course it's complete and balanced nutrition with zero synthetics. It's 90% meat and 10% superfoods. You're probably thinking every dog food is made that way, but that's just not the case. Most dog foods on the shelf today are unfortunately highly processed kibbles that don't have the same benefits as fresh food. Sundays is on a mission to become the world's most convenient and healthiest dog food. And if you take a look at their bag, you'll see that the ingredients list is very short. You'll recognize everything in the recipe and it's very high quality ingredients we love 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 Melanesi so much with our whole hearts our dogs are our worlds and I know so many of you can relate to that there are everything everything just as important as it is to get Bella and Izzy out for exercise walks and runs and playtime it's really important to know that they're eating whole food ingredients and we're feeding them the healthiest food that we can if you'd like to try Sundays I know you're dogs are gonna love it click the link in the description for 60% off use code vanwives 60 
Does this spot look familiar? If you've been paying close attention, a few months ago, you probably watched us make some progress right here to build Clementine's workshop. <laughs> yep, and as you know, from probably the drone shots, we're now behind the cabin instead of in front of the cabin. There's a few reasons for this. The first being the massive puddle behind us. Yeah, we knew we'd have to dig three feet of mud, but what we all didn't account for was even more than three feet of mud and lots of water. Well, it just kept going and going and going and it was very costly because obviously you have to haul that mud out of here. So although I pictured Clementine with a lovely house by now and it did delay the project <laughs> a little bit, I have to say that everything works out just as it's supposed to because the new location makes so much more sense for so many reasons. It's way better. After we built that road, it just opened up our entire property and our minds of just a way better building site. Back there is full of rocks, nice hard ground. You just don't want a workshop here. It just no. doesn't make sense. It's way extra cost and it is so close to when you're driving into the cabin. It's the first thing you would see after going like 100 feet down the driveway, yeah. which we don't want. We are obviously storing like materials, clementine, and other things in here that we would rather hidden in the back. Yeah, so it's a huge peace of mind knowing that we're gonna have it hidden behind the cabin. Even though we're telling you all on YouTube. Yeah, but no, <laughs> it's just for the people like coming into the property. It's not everything exposed in plain sight. It gives us a little added um, security blanket. I think for that reason, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. It also is just way less of a trek. This is such a walk to get here. It's yeah. much closer to the cabin, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. We can also drive directly into the workshop Back and there. out because it's all yeah. connected to the roads and the yeah. driveway and everything. So the turnaround situation and the cabin. It's just way better. Yeah. <laughs> we do get to bring power there as soon as we want and yeah. as soon as we can because it it's is right there. Right there <laughs> next to the cabin. Instead whereas of... this is a huge job to get power here. Yeah. Although we could, I don't even know if we would have ever done it. I think I would have done a sever system. It's just so far. Yeah. Yay, it worked out. As you can see, this area is much more elevated and much more suitable. But wait a second, it's perfectly level. We were moving rock all day long. And now it's flat. You're currently standing on one, two, three, four, and maybe five loads of gravel that is going to bring up the road to meet the pad here because it is so high compared to the land around it, which is so great for runoff and drainage as we all know. And so for that reason, we need to build up our road because we don't want to tear up the driveway anymore. What we need to do is we need to trench across the road that we built, which we're gonna do right now. Yep. So that way it comes up over near the bunkie. I'll have more fun filling you. Thank you. <laughs> kind. Herbal. Thank you. Had to return the favor. It's the perfect time of year for tea because the tip of your nose is getting cold. Check out the trench through the road to the other side. Ready? Glue. It's opened, just kidding. Okay, are you ready? Turn right. Okay, good enough. Well, I just got the numbers perfect. Oh yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Next pipe's over there. Do we have a 90? We got lots of things. Oh yeah, that box is still here, right? I brought it, no, no, not Larry's. That's ours? Yeah, that's our box. Larry took his box. Cool. Larry's got jobs to do. Ready, set, go. Turn right, okay. There you go. Three, two, one, go. Perfect. Here we have it, 30 Whoa, feet. Whoa, sorry, falling. That's okay. <laughs> Here we have it, <laughs> our 30 foot extension on our electrical pipe through the road. Now we can finish off the road grading. And then this is here for the future. We can just take this cap off. So this here is where the electrical will go. And then you will have electricity in your workshop. Uh -huh. uh, Alrighty. 
Oke. Okay. We've traded positions now. It's hard to share the excavator, but it makes us both happy. Crystal's resting a uh, small car right now. Uh, I think she's getting it out. I'm looking at it. Yep, she is. Oh my God, what a car! What? That's a big fish! That's a Mini Cooper! Anyways, back to programming. So, I did the electrical, she's doing the drain. She's a bit better than me, so that's why she's doing the drain, because it has to be obviously on a slant as water goes downwards. And, you're probably wondering, why didn't you guys just do this when you did the pot? Well, to be honest, we didn't know how high this back corner was going to be from the road. So we didn't know if we could just put it over top of the road or not. But turns out it was only 18 inches. We all thought it was gonna be like two to three feet and it ain't. So that's a good sign, but obviously we gotta do this. So um, yeah, we're just extending the pipe. I think 30 feet each, so it's over the road. That way the drain isn't running into our road. You don't want that, because I know it's not a lot of water, but after X amount of years, you know, it could just wash it away. Better not, better be safe and get it on that side. You look like you're mining. Okay, here we have our drain pipe from the center of our pad. Future proofing for the, if we ever decide that we need somewhere for the water to go inside the workshop, it's gonna come out of this drain. It's going on a 20 and a half, which is giving it a slight curve so we can get right straight across the road, use the least length of pipe possible. And we and don't hit our other drain. We don't er, hit electrical. our other electrical. Everyone loves a 20 and a half or a 21 and a half. Just a slight bend and out we go. Do you think you used enough glue? <laughs> I love it. It's a lot. Whatever. Okay. You want a shovel or? No, I'm good. You're, oh. You go with the hammer and the feet? We needed more pipe. <laughs> Yep. This is cool. Now we're doing the hydraulics. Yeah. Wow, this is really cool. Oh. Ditching bucket. It's Hello. The, the tilt ditching bucket with hydraulic hoses, which it, we're going to attach right now. Let's see. One. Two. <clears throat> hydraulic line. One. Hydraulic line. Two. Then you gotta line them up and you gotta push them in. It's actually pretty hard. Yeah, he also struggled too. Hmm. I don't remember being like this when he did that one time. There you go. You're good. It's too high now for me. It wants to go. Come on. Very good. Is it in? There. No. Oh, so close. I know. Okay, wait. Go ahead. Come on. It doesn't want to stay. There we go. Yes. Activated. <laughs> Whoa, girl. You 
so holy smokes tangerine <laughs> hydraulic fittings okay you do this i bet one person can do it now this might be a bit of a battle we worked on that one for an hour this ditching bucket better be worth it <laughs> there nice. we go so when you're just right at that line one more push okay, hang on i need gloves girl let's come down there we go! Oh. All right, let's get this over there already. <laughs> oh. Move it around, let's see how it works. Hell yeah. Beauty. This ditching bucket makes, I, I have zero words. It, it's just the right tool for the job, I think is what I'm trying to say. So as you can see, completely smooth right there and then we still have to do that to that pile of rocks. I can't get over how smooth it looks. I always wondered how Porter got that smooth look and he always said it was just 10,000 hours in his ditching bucket. But to actually try it firsthand, it's just looking so good. It's perfectly sloping right down and smoothly sloping right down. Not only will Crystal always want an excavator, but she'll want a ditching bucket to go with an excavator. But honestly, I feel like if you're buying an excavator, you should probably buy some accessories to go with it. And if you're new here or you missed an episode, Kubota has actually lent us this machine and all of the attachments. Welcome home! I can hardly wait to get in that machine. It is such a beauty! Attachments, not accessories. <laughs> For the summer months to help us complete our projects out here which is so amazing and unreal. And every day I look at it, I think, why us? I'm super grateful because this job is getting done so, so well. Ditching bucket is a 10 out of 10. And you're a 10 out of 10 operator. I Beautiful. Kind of mucked it up a bit, but. It's flat. It looks so perfect. I love it. <laughs> I feel like you can get like perfection with that, which is really good for me. You can like get it really flat. Like I was just like the slope, that's a bit high for me still. Yeah. And I know that as we drive on it, it's gonna really, really compact. Um, I would do like a few more things, but like it's getting dark and I don't need to be a perfectionist right now. <laughs> Especially cause we probably need Larry to bring his truck back here and dump more there. Yeah, also the so. hot tub's hot. You forgot, didn't you? Say no more. How hot is it? Oh! Can't go in too hot. I knew it. Oh my god, I made soup again. Girl. How hot is it? Probably perfect. Still steam. Oh yeah, so that is nice. <gasps> it's like hot. A traditional like electric hot tub doesn't get this hot. And that's why you don't like them anymore. So you're used to burning your skin and making Canadian soup. Remember where the workshop was going to be? Well, it's time to clean that place up and a lot more. I'm actually very happy with this happy accident. You'll, you'll just see, we already have materials that need to go here that have been just laying around for the last three years. Are you ready? Yeah. For a swim? <laughs> Imagine. Just kidding. We right. did kind of have a pond. So I'm gonna try and just keep it like here. Filling. Want me to do it? No, I'm I'm so happy in here uh, right now. 
We don't know how to share. Sorry. Are you saying <laughs> I don't know how to share? A little bit, maybe. How about we do have now? That's sure. Turns out I did the whole thing. It's nice and flat, it's looking good. It's a big area that we're gonna make great use of. Just need more stone. Hi dear. Is it a windy day, my girl? Sweet Bella. Sweet Bella Bella. Oh. <laughs> Do you know why she's barking? Cover your ears. Do you have any idea? It's because the gas attendant gave her cookies once and she hasn't forgot. <laughs> Five years later. No, how many years have you been here? <laughs> like four years later. She hasn't had a cookie in like a year and a half. No, she hasn't had one in like three years, man. Hi, Doug. Video oh. time. Oh. Video time. Yeah, we actually did. We had a fall video the other day. It was really pretty. It's been years since I've seen the bright reds. Someone's sad because she got no cookies. Got the Dieselina for Tangie. Tangerine, she's thirsty. She's way thirstier than Clementine. She takes double what Clementine takes. I'm obsessed with this weather. It's like, you know, cozy, got a sweater and a long sleeve and a toque, but it's sunny, it's pretty. It's like been the best fall colors that we've seen since living here. That's what Doug was just saying. Jazzy's putting the final layer on the original workshop area. Again, I am just so happy with the decision to move it back behind the cabin. So she's just about done there. It's gonna look really good. Okay, well, bye everyone. <laughs>